All right, I got some bad news this week. Um, they're getting rid of English voice acting. So to me, this is a huge bummer. They're not getting rid of the voice acting that's already in the game, but they're just not going to add any more going forward. And uh, let me give you my thoughts on this. I'll tell you what I think, why I think, what I think it's going to affect, and just my overall opinions on stuff, and uh, also what it's going to affect. Now, uh, to me, I am insanely disappointed. I love the voice acting in this game. There's a lot of characters in this game that I think have amazing voice acting, like Lucio, Joom, Mont, Masharie, Glaciella. There's so many. I can't even name all of them. Um, and even a lot of the lesser characters that only have a few scenes here and there, they're just so well done. Um, and I really appreciate the voice acting in this game and all the voice acting that we've had up to this point. It's been on point, maybe early on in the first, like, batch of stuff that came out on launch was a little different, but after that, this game has really picked up and the voice acting's been amazing. And for me, a huge part of the atmosphere and vibe of the game, and I really enjoy it. Um, now, that being said, do I think this means end of service? No, I don't. I mean, eventually the game is going to have that. It's just a matter of time, right? I don't think this means like it's going down in the next three months or anything like that. Um, and I believe that this will help, honestly, hopefully. Uh, now, I've seen thrown around on Reddit and in Discords a lot that they're doing this because of time constraints, because now there's only a one month gap between Japan and English launches of characters and stuff like that. I don't believe that's the case at all, personally, because I am pretty confident that the characters in this game are made and, like, came up with and ready way more than just that one month gap. They know what characters are coming out, like, six months to a year in advance. Some of the voice actors have, like, streamed this game or, you know, talked about it in other places, and they've mentioned things like that they've honestly recorded their voices well in a year before their character even came out. Maybe that's not the case for all of them, but that is, like, that is an idea of how far ahead these characters are planned before we actually get them. It's not like Gumi just whips them up in a couple of weeks and they're like, all right, this character is ready to go. So that is not the reason. I really don't think time constraints is an issue. Uh, I, I could be wrong, obviously. I don't work there. I don't know but that's my interpretation of it. I don't think it's time uh, constraints. Now, cost cutting, I do think that there's a strong possibility that the only reason they're doing this is for cost cutting. And this goes back to the end of service thing. I think that this will help possibly, you know, keep the game alive longer because they won't have to spend the money in that department. I still think it's a huge bummer. I really do. Like, if there was anything we could do to keep the voice acting, I would be for it. I know that's impossible now. I'm sure it's already set in stone. You know, there's no way that the voice acting is staying. But, uh, you know, that's just what I think it is. It's going to help keep the game alive longer. So to look on the bright side, we'll have our favorite game alive a bit longer because of that, I hope. Um, but yeah, as a PvE player... I love the story in this game. That's one of the, my favorite things about the game is the story, and I like listening to the story and watching it, not just reading it and, you know, whatever. Uh, I think as a streamer as well, this is something that doesn't affect the majority of people, but as a streamer as well, um, I do stream this game. You guys see me here on YouTube, but if you're not like on my Twitch or whatever, I stream this game every week. I usually do the story on stream and we watch the cutscenes together, you know, chat, we're interacting, we're talking while it's happening and everyone can pay attention and follow along because of the English voice acting. Now, if it's not English, if it's, you know, Japanese or even muted or something, I would never mute it, but you know, the if, the, if it was, how do I handle that? Do I read the all the dialogue to the stream? That would be weird if I'm reading, like, Mashari's dialogue and I'm like, Hey, Mont, why don't you come over here and uh, help me take care of the baby, huh? You know, like, it would just be a little weird. So, as a streamer, that part, I, I just like having the voice acting. It makes it way easier. Because the other thing is, if I'm not reading it out loud, do I just scroll through it really slow so the, the chat can follow along? 
I don't think that's the play either. I think that storyline content, I'll just probably have to... I don't know if I'll just skip through it on streams now or what, but I just think it's going to be a lot different. A different way to tackle it. But again, this is only from a streamer perspective. There's not even that many streamers for the game, and I think the probably none of the other streamers even do story content on stream anyways. So uh, this is just a me problem, and this doesn't affect anyone else, and this obviously has no impact on them whatsoever making this decision. Um, but... Uh, yeah, and then as far as other content creators go, I'm not even sure other content creators watch cutscenes or anything because there's been some questionable things. For example, I'm not calling anyone out because this is virtually every single person that I watch talk about this character um, in poll videos recently or regarding the apocalypse stuff, but Volke. Volke's name is said out loud in the story 500 times. They say it sometimes 15 times per scene. Um, and every single person I've watched or seen pronounces it Volk. And some of them even think that Volk is a girl. So that to me tells me that most, a lot of people are not paying attention to the cutscenes whatsoever. They're not, they're just skipping scenes. Maybe they have a rough idea of who the characters are, but in some cases they don't. Volk is clearly not a girl and clearly not named Volk. It's Volke. Um, but again, this isn't a dig on anyone. This is every single person that I've watched and it's been a good amount like I more than five I'll tell you calls them Volk and uh, I just think that's funny but again this this change I guess isn't gonna affect those people that much and that's totally fine and honestly if you're someone that doesn't care about the voice acting in this game you are lucky and I'm jealous of you because this is gonna be a nothing update to you right um and, and that's really cool. I get it, a lot of people are just in this game for the PvP, and that's fine. I, you know, I do the PvP, I enjoy it to an extent, but I really love the PvE. But I love the PvE gameplay stuff too, like raids and trials, and none of that stuff is voice acted anyways. So I'll still be able to get some enjoyment out of it. Um, but yeah. And yeah, last things, I'll just talk about where the voice acting is going to be cut off. So Main Story Part 3, Chapter 8. Right now we're in Main Story Part 3, Chapter 8. We still do have two scenes left for Main Story Part 3, Chapter 8, though. So I don't know if those two remaining scenes are going to be English voice acting, and then that's where it's going to be cut off, or if it's going to be cut off at Part 3, Chapter 8, Scene 1, which is the scene that we just got and we have. So this, we might already be at the end of this. I'm unsure. It depends if the next two scenes, I'm assuming there's two more scenes in this chapter. Uh, and as far as another story, chapter three, scene seven, this is coming out this week. So that's going to be the end of the English voice acting after this week, I guess, I think. And then the last unit, we've already got the last unit, Ashen King Mont, Dunzo. It's, it's kind of sad, man. And I would say the last piece, well, as far as like the battle cries and in combat, I don't mind if the English voice acting is going away there. Um, I do like some of the stuff they say, like some of the characters say, sound really cool or say some really like badass things or funny things or cool things. And we're going to be missing out on that, sadly, because none of the Japanese lines in combat are translated anywhere. So I don't know what the heck they're saying. Like Cloud is talking and I don't know anything that Cloud says in combat. Um, so, you know, that is what it is. But uh, then the, the very last place that I can think of that it might have an effect on some people is the title screen. You know, on your home screen, whatever. Your characters talk to you there, and that's another one that doesn't get translated. So we're not going to have any idea what they're saying anymore. Um, and in some cases, that was already the case. Like, I use Fuhrer King Bradley as my home screen unit a lot. And now... Everyone is going to be in that boat where uh, I don't know what they're saying, just like I don't know what Bradley is saying. Um, but anyways, that's going to be it. I've honestly, I've re-recorded this video so many times. I just can't get my thoughts and feelings out on this matter in a reasonable amount of time. I feel like this has been very long, but I feel like I'm pretty passionate about the voice acting going away. And it is a letdown. I don't think it's end of service. Eventually the game is going to end, but when is that? I don't know. Hopefully... We have some more time with it. Um, but anyways, that's the bad news, okay? So 
let me know what you guys think about this. I'm really curious how overall, I know a lot of people say they play with the game muted or they've had JP voices on since day one or whatever the case may be. And if that's the case, then you guys aren't missing out on anything. And that is very cool for you. Um, but for those of us that have been with the English voice acting this whole time, we are really gonna miss it. And I'm curious how many other people are in that boat. As far as the rest of the week goes, we're getting Dark Titan. There's going to be a free raid card, and uh, there's going to be a raid. That's pretty much the bulk of the news this week. Dark Titan, Dark Effort raid, and a raid card. There's going to be a War of the Visions update stream. I believe this is on Sunday, and if I'm not, I'll post the link to this in Discord and everything. I'll give you guys the time and everything. Time zones and stuff like that. I'm always out of whack on these notices, but yeah. So, uh... Yeah, that should be cool. I'm sure this is going to introduce Advent Children. If not, then that would be weird, right? I hope there's some juicy Hiroki gifts in this, though. I don't even know if Hiroki's going to be in this one. He's not in the picture. He might not be. But usually, if he's not in there, we still get the gifts. So hopefully we do. Unless that's why they're leaving him out, because they don't want to give us a gift. Anyways, uh, yeah, this video was long enough, I guess. I will be live streaming this when this update goes out, I believe, Thursday this week. I'm not pulling for Dark Titan. I might pull for it on my alt just because I don't really care about my alt's viz. And I think Dark Titan is going to be a great Esper and Vision card for Earth. At, and Ice. And Earth-Ice combo is actually pretty nice too. So Dark Titan is amazing. But the reason I'm skipping on this account is, one, Advent Children's right around the corner. Two, it's a Dark Esper. So that's a potential 40k pity for a Vision card slash Esper combo. That's crazy. And three, maybe there was no three. Oh, three, yeah. It's uh, it's not a limited card. It's going to be in the permanent pool afterwards. So that means maybe there will be a selection banner. We can grab it from later if we don't just happen to luck out and pull it while pulling for other things. Anyways, I have blabbed on way too long. Like I said, I recorded this video probably eight times now. Um, just trying to get my thoughts and feelings out on the English voice acting going away. I'm really sad about it, honestly. Um... But it is what it is, and I would rather have the English voice acting going away than just the game altogether going away, you know what I mean? And if that's one of the cost-cutting measures that they take to keep the game alive and around longer, then, uh, then I will suck it up and deal with it. Hopefully it doesn't uh, take me too much out of the atmosphere of the game, and I continue to enjoy the game going forward, because... I do, I do really like that. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking. Like I said, I don't want to have to re-record this again. It's probably already should, but I'm going to send it. So this is why this is coming out so late today. But uh, yeah, hopefully everyone still loves it. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to go by. See you guys on Thursday. Or, you know, I'll be streaming every day. But this game specifically on Thursday. Goodbye and farewell. Blah, 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 blah.